Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to control exactly who can see what data in your Power BI reports, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up row-level security in Power BI, a simple but powerful way to restrict data visibility so your users only see what they're supposed to see. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up and test security rules that keep your data safe and relevant for every viewer. Let's dive right in. First, open up your Power BI desktop project. Give it a moment to load if you haven't already opened it, this is where all the magic happens. Once you're in your file, look towards the top of the screen and you'll see a menu called Modeling. Go ahead and click on that. The Modeling tab is where all your data structure and security settings are managed. Think of it like the control panel for what your users can see and do. Now within the Modeling tab, look for an option labeled Manage Roles. Click on that. What we're doing here is creating roles, or groups, that come with certain rules about which data they're allowed to see. If you've ever worked in a company where some people need access to only their own region or department's data, row-level security is exactly what makes that possible. Next, let's add a new role. You'll see a button usually marked with a plus sign or labeled new. Click that and give your new role a meaningful name. In this example, let's call it North. This naming step is more important than it seems because if you have several roles, it's easy to get them mixed up later on. North is clear, easy to remember, and tells us immediately which region we're securing. After you've named the role, you'll need to specify which table the rule applies to. For this demo, say we have a table called Sales Data. Click on Sales Data so we can set up a rule just for this table. The goal here is to ensure people assigned to the North role can only see sales data for the North region. Now for the heart of row-level security, setting up the actual filter. Under Rules, click the plus sign to add a new rule. You'll need to select the column that represents the region. In our case, it might just be called Region. Once you've picked the region column, set the condition to equals, then type in north as the value. What you're telling Power BI here is only show rows where the region column equals north for anyone with this role. Think of this like putting a filter on your data grid so that the north team can't accidentally see numbers for the south or west teams. After setting the rule, remember to save your changes and close the roles dialog. It's a good idea to double check your settings to make sure everything's just how you want it. Don't worry if it takes a couple tries to get comfortable setting up security can feel a bit abstract at first, but it quickly becomes second nature. Now, there's one last step you don't want to skip. Testing your role to make sure it works as expected. Next to that Manage Roles button, you'll see an option called View As. Click on that and choose North from the list. This is a really handy feature because it lets you see your report exactly as the North user would. If everything's set up correctly, all the visuals and numbers should now be filtered down to only show data for the North region. It's a great way to double check that your row level security is working before you publish your report for others to use. And that's it. You've successfully set up row level security in Power BI. Not only does this keep your data more secure, it also ensures your users only see the insights that matter most to them. If you found this walkthrough helpful, give the video a like, and if you have any questions or run into any snags, let me know in the comments below. I love helping you all out. Don't forget to subscribe for more Power by Tips and Tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.